Hello everyone, Princess Mirella here, and I am going to show you how to make one million gill treasure hunting. Treasure hunting has been one of my favorite ways to make gill in the Final Fantasy XIV game. Yes, I have a weaver, a leather worker, a botanist, and those are all fun, but I love I just have a special place in my heart for treasure hunting. It's I love the surprise of it. I love not knowing what I'm going to get, and sometimes you can really win big, and sometimes you can even get super lucky and get an unhindered leather map uh, within your treasure map, so it's like two and one most of the money that I've made in the game has come from treasure hunting. So I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I do. So basically what I'm going to do is show you how to, one, we'll talk about how to get a treasure map, and then two, I'll show you how to complete one, and then I'm going to go on my own and complete as, as many as it takes me to make a million gil, and then I'll post, uh, I'll include how long it took me, which maps, I completed and what came from those maps so that you can do the same and uh, have a really fun experience making a lot of gill. So two ways to get treasure maps. If you have a gatherer, uh, for me I have a botanist, so I just go to the level 50, 60, 70, or 80 trees and start chopping. Uh, and I can go ahead and collect not only the wood, but every now and then I'll have a treasure map pop up. And it's the same for all of the gathering classes. You can get one of each type of treasure map per day. The second way, uh, and this is the way I typically go, is using the market board and I server hop. So basically I'll search for the prices of my favorite maps or see what maps are selling for and I choose one that I think is the best deal. So typically the Archaea skin and Gilder skin are the cheapest maps that I found that pay out the best. So those are usually the ones that I go with. But you definitely want a server hop because right now, even for an example, the Archaea skin map um, that we're going to be using, I bought for around 5,000 gil on Zolera server, whereas on my server, it's selling for 15,000. So you definitely want to get the map at a good price and then uh, that way you have a good payoff for um, what you're able to get. As your reward so that's what I'll be doing to make the million gill so I'll show you uh, one example of how I treasure hunt so right now I have an Archaea skin map pulled up so we'll go ahead and click on that um, and you'll notice that there are some key defining features it almost looks like spread out Mickey Mouse ears so I've been to this one many times and as you treasure hunt more and more you'll notice that yes you get different treasures every time but a lot of the locations are the same so once you kind of learn where they're at it makes it easier so basically I just make the initial map bigger so it's easier to find you can see that this Easton eyes matches our map so we know that our treasure is right about here so we will go ahead and find the, oof, we're going to have a long flight here from our eighth right? Also, uh, you can, if you have a free company or other players that you play, that you play the game with, or even if you want to use the party finder, you can join a treasure hunting group or even start a treasure hunting group. And the group maps are really fun. The way that our free ma our free company works the maps is that everybody brings a level 70 or a level 80 map to map night. Um, and when your map is run by the group, you basically need on all the items that come up and then the group will greet. So basically you get all of the treasure associated with your map and then you'll get other bonuses from the maps that you help um, to participate in with the other players. So you really can make some good money. It's a lot of fun and a lot of the group maps can open up portals to different bonus areas. You can get minions, you can uh, basically go through four or five different layers within the map if you're lucky and you unlock the right rooms to really uh, get some great payoffs. So really recommend the group maps. It's a lot of fun so check that out if you get a chance. So basically, once you get to your map location, I always make sure I have my chocobo out. For me, this um, I really probably won't need my chocobo on this one, but when I do the level 70 or 80 maps, I definitely uh, need him. So basically, you just hit dig once you get to your map location. Hopefully I'm close enough here. 
All right, great. So we see our treasures right here. We go ahead and click on it. We'll have to defeat some bad guys. So once you have them defeated, then you just go ahead and open up your treasure. So we received uh, 1,900 gil for completing that. We got 10 tombstones of poetics, 140 lightning crystals, a handful of mithrite rivets, and two bottles of enchanted hard silver, silver ink. So that's going to be treasure number one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete some other maps and uh, get to a million and let you know um, the results. So what I found is that you want to complete 25 maps in 60 minutes. The specific maps that I completed were uh, Archaea skin, so 23 were Archaea skin, and two were unhidden leather maps that dropped from the Archaea skin maps. The unhidden leather maps you could decide to sell if you wanted, they sell for quite a bit. On my server, 200,000 K a piece, uh, and I'm sure similar for yours as well. But I went ahead and hunted those maps and uh, just included them into our total, the, the drops from those maps. So very exciting. Um, once everything sells from the treasure hunting, we will have made 1,139,802 gil in 60 minutes. So exciting. So we also wanna make sure that we subtract out the cost of the maps that we purchased. So the total cost of buying the maps was 129,261 gil. So after subtracting that out, we are going to net 1,010,541 gil, which is amazing. So excited to share that with you. So a couple other tips um, when you are buying your maps. I would make sure to buy the maps within the 4,000 to 5,500 uh, range. That will help you to net the most possible um, outcome uh, when it comes to Gil for your treasure map experience. So to do that, I actually started in Zalera and hunt and completed most of the maps in that area until uh, the cost was going up to about um, seven. I had one at the 6,000 and one at the seven. So I server hopped over to Balmung and it dropped back down to 4,000 Gil and I stayed within the uh, that range. So up to 5,250. So anyway, that's the range that you want to purchase your maps uh, within to make sure that you have the best payoff. Some of the items of note that we received from the experience were a sprigning cap, uh, imitation, mist beard mask, and then a lot of high quality items to include mithrite rivets, ramey cloth, dark chestnut lumber, mithrite ingots, holy cedar lumber, gro and growth formula obsidian, and many more. It also included a lot of crystals, so lightning crystals, earth crystals, you could use those for crafting and gathering, but I sell them because they sell for quite a bit. And you, the, when the crystals drop from the treasure maps, you get them in groups of 70, 140, or 210. So, um, you know, very exciting, really adds to your, to the amount that you make. Plus you receive money from completing each of the maps, just completing them. And then you also receive uh, tombstones of poetics. So if you wanna turn those into funds, you can go over to Idleshire, convert them to demi crystals and sell them to any of the shops for additional funds. So really exciting. So that is how to make more than 1 million gill treasure hunting in 60 minutes. So I hope that I have inspired you. I hope that you really enjoy, you know, not only being out there treasure hunting, but making lots of gill uh, as well. So wishing you the best and hope that you truly enjoy this amazing game, you know, as much as I do and uh, wishing you lots of good luck and, and gill uh, as well. So I look forward to seeing you next time and thanks for joining me.